Hey everyone, this is Christina Ashley doing a video today on uh, kidney disease with skincare and I guess kind of hair care too. Um, since no one told me it was kind of a shock what happened, I thought I would share with you sort of my skincare routine and why I do it and what you should kind of gear up for. So when I came out of the hospital, again, I had to do emergency dialysis there and my skin really went on a full on freak out about it. So I had really scaly, gross feeling skin um, and it did not go down for a while. It just was constantly like that. I could not get rid of it no matter how much I scrubbed and put lotion on it. It just still stayed that really scaly, gross feeling. So I was really self-conscious about it. When I got out of the hospital that following weekend was my daughter's dance recital. And usually when we do those, you know, I dress up, I do makeup, we make it a big deal. We take a lot of pictures. And when I was getting ready, I first off could not wear what I would have normally worn because with my chest port put in and it still being so brand new it hurt really bad so I mean wearing a regular bra was not really an option so I felt self-conscious about that and then as I was starting to do my normal makeup routine and any girl or woman who is watching this can attest to it when your skin is having a bad freak out as I was putting my foundation on I could feel just that gross grittiness and then in the mirror I could see that it just wasn't going to look good. Sometimes when your skin is freaking out your makeup just sort of accentuates that and so I wiped everything off and then totally cried for like a good 20 minutes to my husband about how I felt ugly and I almost didn't want to go to this dance recital because I felt like everybody would be staring at me and talking about me and I just wasn't mentally ready for that. And he assured me that at this dance recital, nobody was gonna give a crap what I look like. Nobody was gonna watch me and they were all gonna focus on the girls. And plus it was a nighttime assembly. So in the dark, he was like, nobody was gonna notice. So kind of pulled an Alexis on me and uh, told me that nobody cares. And that was good for me because I did go and I'm glad I went to see her dance, especially since I had been in the hospital for almost two weeks before then. And I mean, my whole goal of getting better was to get out and go to this dance recital. So after that freak out, I started to load up on skincare stuff. Normally all my money would go to really quality foundation and blush and bronzer and all that. And since I wasn't using any of that anymore, I decided to use my money to buy some really good skincare stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I use so that way either you can go and purchase it. I know everybody has a different skin type so what works for me it might not work for you but I at least want you to know everything that kind of goes into it. And I'm not wearing any makeup today. You can see I have really red skin. I have like scabby parts where it's peeling really bad. And I think it's mostly here because right now with COVID, we're wearing masks everywhere and I have to wear a mask, one of those paper masks at dialysis and that really dries out my skin too. So it's like zapping out moisture from dialysis and zapping out moisture from the mask and it's just double trouble. So just wanted you to see, you know, I go out like this. I don't wear makeup really anymore unless it's something like before COVID, it was a family event we were doing, but uh, I'm having a really bad skin time. So I felt it was kind of pointless to put on makeup one because it's not realistic and two, um, again, it's just gonna accentuate what's going wrong right now. So there's no point. Uh, so the first thing that I had to purchase was face wash because a good face wash also, you know, does everything. So I use several different kinds. The one that I like the most right now is this Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming face wash. I hope that's not backwards on the video. So this one, it says to normal, normal to oily skin type. Um, so it is 
a little drying. So on those days where I'm having really, really oily skin days, um, this one I like to use. Uh, I also use, which I just ran out of and I forgot to save it, but I use the Simple brand face wash. So that's not as expensive as this one. I think it was like $5. And that one's really nice too for the days when I don't want such a, I don't know, abrasive clean. And then uh, I also use a Caudalie face wash, a foaming one, and that's for all skin types. And that one I really, really love. So when I wash my face, I didn't have this before, and I forgot to mention that some of these products are super bougie. Uh, but I think if you're not spending the money on makeup anymore, and especially right now in a COVID world, if you're not going out, why not just splurge a little bit? Uh, so when we got that $1,200 tax credit uh, for COVID, I shouldn't say tax credit, what was it, a relief fund? I went online to Sephora and I bought myself one of those Mia face brushes and it just turns on with a button and it's super wet right now because I just washed my face but this thing is great when I have those again really bad uh, skin days to put my face wash on here and then use that to wash my face it's been great I feel really clean I feel like it got a lot of that dead grimy skin feeling off um, they have different types of brushes so I would kind of play around. I'm on a, my second brush right now and it's different than the one that it came with. This one's a little more abrasive and I don't think I like it as much. I think I'll go back to the regular one. Um, but if you've got more troubled skin, then this brush head might be better. And that's the blue one. So most of the time I'll do a face mask. So I either have Tony Molly face masks, which are amazing. And I always do the ones that are either for moisturizing or brightening um, but I don't have any of those today or this is sort of my go-to one and this is the Kiehl's turmeric and cranberry seed energizing and radiance mask and it's uh, this really thick mask you don't rub it in and you, you don't need too too much so it's just like that and I do that before I take my bath so that way the mask I'm sitting in it while I'm taking a bath since I can't take showers right now I can only take baths and uh, I put that on and it sits there it dries up and then you just wipe it off and I did that today so that's probably why my face is a little more red than normal because I did do like a double scrubbing but my face feels really nice nice and smooth now so I like that a lot I'm done with that I will do the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Again, super bougie, but since I'm not spending the money on a $50 to $60 foundation, I can spend it on a $50 to $60, well, I guess this is just $50, but a $50 spray. And I accidentally bought two of them, um, which was like an online glitch thing, but I'm not even mad about it. So I have a second bottle, but this one is a really nice spray. So it's kind of like a toner, but it's also sort of an all-in-one. Like you can use it throughout the day if you're feeling kind of icky. Um, you just sort of, you have to shake it, but then you just spray it on. It smells great. And I bought my first bottle ever on a trip to Paris. So now whenever I spray it, I think of Paris and I feel like I deserve a mini mental vacation sometimes with everything that's going on. After that, I use a vitamin E oil, especially on the days, if my skin's not as bad as it is now, um, I don't usually do this part, but like right now, while it's really peely, I use vitamin E oil. And this one I just bought from Sprouts. I think it, again, it was like five or $10. Trader Joe's also has a vitamin E oil and that one's really good too. So, and I think that's two or $3. So that I just put a little tiny drop of it. I rub it all over my face, my eyelids, my neck. Um, and then it's really good for your hands so I do that kind of rub it in and then I let that sit there and soak in for a minute and while that's soaking in I use this herbivore roller and I have a little mini fridge in my closet so I keep this and my lotions 
and then a really good lipstick that I have when I want to wear lipstick. I keep that all in the fridge. So this is nice and ice cold. And then I just rub it, the vitamin E oil and it feels so great. And then I like, I put it back in the fridge when I'm done with it. And especially right now in the summer where it's 110, 115 degrees, it's nice every once in a while when you get kind of hot to take it out and roll it on your face and cool off. So again, bougie items, I know. After I roll that onto my face, I'm using this Caudalie Venal Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. So again, just one to two drops of that, and I rub it all over my face just to give a little extra moisture. And again, I didn't used to care so much about it. I would wash my face. I would put, you know, a toner on my face and then a dollop of lotion and be done with it and put on my makeup routine. And again, I use so much now because my skin just wreaks havoc that to me, the more the better, the more moisture, the better. So I really just kind of layer it on thick, especially since some days where I go to dialysis and I'm wearing that mask. The more moisture I have on my face when I start off with, the less gross it feels when I'm leaving. So that's why I do that. Oh, and I forgot. Um, in between face washing, I'll use an astringent just so that way it gets off all that dirt and grime at the end of the day. Most of the time at night, especially on the days that I have dialysis, I'm too tired to wash my face. I just don't want to deal with it. I stay up late anyways, and that's a really good product to use just to get that dirt off. And then I can go ahead and just put lotion on and be done with it. Um, so again, once I'm done with the Caudalie serum, then I'll put on a facial moisturizer. I have a ton of different ones that I like to use. Uh, so this one was one that I used before. And it's really good ultra facial oil free cream gel it's for normal to oily skin types it does sting a little bit so the worse that my skin got the less i used it but now this jar i cleared out so what's in here now is an evita lotion that a friend gave to me she does uh facials so one night after dialysis she came by and she gave me a facial and she gave me a sample of her evita lotion and I love it. It smells so good. The one I use the most though is this Caudalie Vino Source, the SOS Intense. So this one's just like a really nice thick cream. And again, I rub that all over my face. I don't necessarily care for the way it smells, but whatever. Um, you can get a Pond's cream from Walmart or Target. That's $5 and that works just as well as the SOS. Again, it kind of has that old lady grandma smell to it, so it smells a big deal to you. Um, find whatever works for you. The, a thick cream though is gonna be the best because again, your face is just so devoid of any moisture that it just cracks and peels and the more moisture, the better. And I hate the word moist and I've used moisture 8 million times, but it is what it is. Find what works for you but load up on it. The bigger the bottle, the better. For the nights that I have really bad time, so today when I get home from dialysis, I'll put this stuff on once I'm done with my uh, astringent. It's in a Kiehl's bottle. Oh, but this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, that stuff's really, really good too. But that's not what's in here. Again, I cleaned up that bottle, used it uh, all up. And now what's in here is kind of this own thing that I made really thick you can't see it but inside there is a mixture of vitamin e oil coconut oil and tea tree oil and i just poured it all in there mixed it all up and then i keep it in that the fridge that i have in my closet so it's solid right now and then i just scrape it out with my finger or a little scraper rub it around until it gets uh melt it a little bit and then rub it over it's super strong smelling but I think that combination helps the best when I'm having my worst skin day. So, but again, because it smells intense with that tea tree oil in there, um, I only use it at night before bed, just cause that way people aren't, it'll smell like 
icy hot the whole time. Uh, on nights where I come back from dialysis and I need a little extra on my face, again, super bougie, but this Caudalie grape water, and it's just, think of those, um, what's that water? Evian. They have those Evian water sprays for your face. This is kind of, this, I'm not going to say kind of, it is the same concept. It's just a quick spritzer bottle and you just spritz it on. It doesn't have a smell or at least one that I notice, um, but it feels really good. And again, if you, I keep it in the fridge sometimes. Right now it hasn't been because I keep forgetting it to put it in there and there's no room. But when there is room, I put it in and it's that icy cold blast and it feels really good. And then right now, if there's something going on, like maybe if I'm going to do one of these videos and not want to show you my real skin, or if I'm just running some quick errands where maybe I don't want, again, to not have any makeup on, but yeah, I'm not going to do like a full face. Um, I got this at Target. It's just a BB cream. So it starts off white and then you rub it on your fingers and then it turns a color. And I use that and it just really evens it out so that way I'm not so red. I'm a little more just a natural skin tone. And again, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup, but I can go about my day and not really think about people staring at me and thinking that I had a really horrible sunburn. Because sometimes when I go out like this, before, before COVID, when I would go out to get my nails done, if I wasn't wearing any makeup, the first question they would ask me is if I got a facial because it looks like I just got my face scrubbed to death. But I started wearing the BB cream and then at least that conversation ended. So the last thing I want to talk about real quick is hair. Again, I can't take a shower right now because of my chest port. So I can only take baths. And again, they're not the greatest because I can't get above my breasts, it's whatever you want to call them. I can't get above that wet because of the chest port. So I'm not really washing my hair very often, once or twice a week, maybe. Um, so dry shampoo is going to be your everything right now. And I had to try out a few different, again, everybody's hair is different. So what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. But so far the best one that I found is this Detox Brunettes. Just because since I'm only washing my hair once or twice a week, I'm layering this on either every day or every other day. Um, right now it's every three days because I'm just being super lazy about it and not very motivated. I'm having one of those weeks. But it's really nice because most of the dry shampoos that I've tried, either the white ones I put on and obviously with my super dark hair as I start to build it up, my hair looks like a powdered wig and that's no good. Then it, who wants to walk around like that? Or some other of the brunette ones I would put on and it would be fine for day one or day two. And then by day three, it was like, I wasn't even putting dry shampoo in my hair anymore. It was just sort of being soaked up but my hair was revolting against it. But this one I spray on day one. I can skip day two and it still looks decent. A little greasy, but not bad and then spray on day three and again, skip a day. And then because it's a brunette one, it makes my hair a little bit lighter, but not to the point where you can really notice it too, too much. So this one so far has been the best. So that is everything that I use. I'm sure there's some things that I forgot. Again, super bougie. You don't have to spend this amount of money on it. It's just something that I prefer to do. I wouldn't use any Face stuff with like a menthol -y feel to it other than the tea tree oil just because again if your skin's like mine and it's really peely and gross it's gonna burn so just try something that's a little gentler on your skin and then that way at least you won't have that bright red stuff going on but hopefully this helps you at least get an idea of what's gonna go on with your skin it's gonna be a lot dialysis again zaps everything out and you feel really gross. So I usually bring a little, a little facial moisturizer, like I put it in a little tiny travel bottle. And then that way, at least I'm in the car and I'm getting ready to leave before I put it in drive. I just dip into that and rub it all over my face really quick just to get something. 
or I'm rubbing or I'm coming up and I'm spraying that coat of Lee water spray on there just to get some of that moisture back in. Yeah, hopefully this helps you. If there was anything that you think I, any stuff you think I might have missed, although I don't know how, let me know if you have any questions on it, on what the skincare process, or if you just want to ask me any other questions about maybe what happens with your skin. Again, everybody's different, so what happened to me might not happen to you. I hope not. I hope that your skin stays just as good as it was before, but just I wanted to let you know that if you are going through a rough spot, if you are feeling self-conscious about it, don't worry about it. Again, as Alexis Rose would say, nobody cares. Nobody's paying attention to you. Everything's going to be okay. So just go on about your day. Just be you. Embrace the skin that you're in and we'll get through it together. Thanks so much. If you like this video, hit like, maybe subscribe. I don't know. I feel weird asking to do that, but I'm here to help. So hopefully my next video will also help you as well. Thanks guys.